And breaking right now, police name a person of interest in the brutal death of an elderly Orange County woman. Good afternoon. I'm Martha Sagowski. I'm Jim Payne. Elena Ortega was robbed and murdered back in September. Then her house was set on fire. West 2's Gail Pasco Brown is live at the Orange County Sheriff's Office where a news conference just wrapped up. And Gail, what's the latest? Well, the lead homicide detective says the person of interest is Juan Rosario. He actually lived in the same neighborhood as the victim. He was just recently convicted of another violent home invasion, and he's in prison. Detectives hope that now he's behind bars. It will help those people who were too scared to talk to come forward now about Elena Ortega's murder. It was a murder on September 18th of last year that outraged an entire Orange County community. Who would kill a sweet elderly lady? Elena Ortega was 83 years old. She used a walker to get around. Today, Orange County homicide detectives have named Juan Rosario as a person of interest in her murder. Who we are uh, identifying as Juan Rosario was recently convicted uh, of a, another uh, violent crime that occurred within very close proximity of Ms. Ortega's residence. The lead detective hopes that residents in the Turnbull Drive area will now come forward with any information and the solid evidence they need. Juan Rosario had uh, this kind of stranglehold uh, of fear and intimidation that had been placed on the community. And again, we wanted the community to know that he is convicted. He will be incarcerated for the next 18 years. Juan Rosario's co-defendant, Sean Quinn, is still awaiting trial in the March home invasion that Rosario was convicted of. In the arrest report, the victim stated he was pistol whipped and they took his money. That home invasion was just 10 houses down and six months before Elena Ortega was killed. Juan Rosario lived in the same Turnbull Drive neighborhood. At this time, investigators don't believe Sean Quinn was involved in Ortega's murder. There was trauma to her body and a fire set to her home. Detectives just need witnesses to come forward. Now, the crime line reward in the homicide still remains at $19,000. So if you have any information, call Crime Line or call the Orange County Sheriff's Office. I'm Gail Pascal Brown, live in Orlando for West 2 News.